this is the prize that's going to be given to someone who buys the corporate citizen playbook or the YouTube course. I will let you know who wins this the 1st of July. What's going on? To let you know that the BMW X5 will be given away to someone who signs up for the corporate citizen playbook the end of July or the 1st of August. Now, let me go ahead and tell you how you can go ahead and have a chance to win this. You must go ahead and get into the training of the Corporate Citizen Playbook that is going on right now. I assume that it's gonna take me until the end of July to get that course and the YouTube course built out. And a lot of you have questions. A lot of you wanna know what's going on. So I have a little webinar that's below the video. It's an automated webinar. You don't have to pretend, we're not gonna pretend like I'm holding a live webinar and you can just show up at any time you want to and I'll be there live. But there's a webinar that explains the things that are going on in the YouTube training and it's an automated webinar. And then what's gonna happen this Sunday at 5 p.m., I'm gonna have a live Q&A webinar where you can ask your questions. And this is the killer thing. Everyone that shows up to this automated webinar is gonna get an amazing discount off the training. So go ahead, go over there to the automated training. The link's gonna be below in the first comment or the, the link will be in the description. And then you can go ahead and get an amazing discount for buying this and have some of your questions answered. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. I want you to sit down and imagine you're on the beach with your girlfriend. You are drinking fruity tropical drinks. You and your girlfriend are having a good time. And it's 12 o'clock p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon. And you and your girlfriend hang out at the beach all day, have a good time, then you come home, then you and your girlfriend have dinner, and around 7.30, you just go in and log into your computer and you see that you have made $30,000 that day while you were at the beach with Big Booty Betty having a good time, enjoying life, just chilling out. And you have somehow figured out a way to make money without working. Number one. That can be true. That can be really, really true. Number two, it usually will take you some time, effort, and consideration before you get to that point. Let me see, when did I get to that point? Now let's kind of go through the business journey. My first business, I didn't have to work that hard, but I was young. And you gotta understand where I was coming from. Literally months, maybe a year before, I was living in a boarding house with crackheads and drug addicts. So it was a different frame of thought for me. It was like, get it, get it, get it. So I was in a very desperate starving mode, which is why one of the reasons I went so hard with that business. But I want you to think, you're out here, you're trying to build something, you're trying to get something together, and it starts happening, and you're very, very happy. So I went through this process, and then I started my second business, which was very, very time intensive. It was extremely time intensive. So that went on for about a decade, and then I came here to YouTube. So we're talking about 12, 13 years before YouTube. Actually, yeah, before YouTube. And then I was on YouTube 2009. 2009, I was working 10, 12 hours a day. 2010, I was working not 10, 12. I was working about six to eight hours a day. 2011, six to eight hours a day. 2012, that's when I became a monk. That's when, at that point, 2012 to 2017, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16. I was working about two hours a day, Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday. That was so, I had reached that hangout at the beach with Big Booty Betty 
time frame in 2012. So it took me 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. It took me about 17 years to get there. <laughs> 17 years. So it is 100% possible for you to set up businesses, set up teams that will free you to have a lot of free time. It is 100% possible. Now, let me tell you what's not possible. First of all, I just went through that whole series of doing work and it took me a decade and some years to get to that point. Now, here's the thing that you don't wanna hear. You're not gonna to get to that point in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or a year. You're, you're just simply not gonna to get to that point. There was someone that I, I deeply admire. His name is Dan Coe, D-A-N-K-O-E. And Dan is a young guy, he's really, really successful. He's very much in the entre intellectual spot of entrepreneurship. And Dan talks about his story because Dan puts out in his YouTube videos that he writes about two hours. I don't think he does that. I think he has a team now because he's he's gotten bigger. But typically, I think on his side, I think Dan is working about two hours a day. And I think seven days a week that he's doing that, which would be retirement for most people because that's 2012. That's when I was like, I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna sit back and I lasted three months. It, it just wasn't for me. And Dan has gone through some similar stuff. Like I think, you know, the goal is to get control of your time. And the way that most people try to do it is just wrong. Uh, going back to Dan, Dan, it took him some years to get to where he is today. It took him years. And that's the thing that you're missing because as I look back and I go back, when I had my job and I had my business, my workload increased. It went up. And the thing is that I see so many people and I, once again, this is one of the reasons I think that the cryptocurrency thing is so huge is you can just go out put some money in some cryptocurrency, it goes up to stratospheric levels and then you're rich and you didn't have to do anything. And this is one of the things that is killing people. It is literally killing people because once again, I like to hang out, I like to travel, but I'm at a point if I travel three or four times a year, I'm good. I don't have this urgency to be in Miami one week, then to be in New York, then another week, be in San Francisco, another week. You know, at one point in my life, I was traveling quite a bit. So I know what it's like. I've literally been to, I think I've been to every state in the United States. I think I've been to all 50 states. This took some years to do that. And I have been to um, the Guam, the Philippines, Korea, Japan, Australia, Thailand, Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, been to London, France, Germany. So I, I've traveled quite a bit. And traveling is fun. But I'm gonna tell you something. Traveling with someone you wanna travel with, that's even more fun. You know, just traveling, because most of these trips, I was in the military or the United States trips, I was by myself. So this whole notion of having time, having time to be able to do the things that you want. This has been my life pretty much since, I'm gonna say 2012 and it's 2023. So we can say I had 11 years of being able to do what I wanna do, when I wanna do it, how I wanna do it. And I think that's the point that people are trying to get to. And this is the reason that we're seeing all of these financial shortcuts because go back to the pandemic, right? People got a taste of working at home and this has triggered up a very deep resentment towards work. I was dating this girl during the pandemic and she had to work from home and we were out to dinner one night and she was just talking about, they're talking about, we gotta go back to the office. It's like, you know, 
it's these times and she was very very distraught at going back to the office she was i mean a tear slid down her face at dinner because just the thought of having to go back to the office disturbed her so much and we have a lot of people what i think happened during the pandemic was people got a taste of that good life now what do i mean by a taste of that good life they got a taste of i can't be foreclosed on you can't repossess my car credit card companies are working with me enhanced unemployment i'm getting a check so a lot of people got a taste of what would life be like without having to worry about money and it, that taste it for some people it lasts almost two years and once you eat at that bowl you can it's hard to go back to regular food once you had a that tasted that it's hard to go back to regular food man it is just really really hard and this is why i understand and acknowledge why so many people are getting scammed because they're looking for that freedom they're looking for that freedom they're looking for that option to work when they want to work which every time i hear that it cracks me up because here's the thing you have to work when the customers are buying if you're working in the strip club what are the most popular hours of the strip club but I think eight to three o'clock in the morning are the most popular hours in the strip club. So if you wanna make that money, you're gonna be working some funky hours, right? And the thing is, this is why everyone is looking for a financial shortcut. I saw someone write an article about my income has gone up eight times since I started using ChatGPT. Now, this is the thing I found to be really interesting about the article. There was no mention of how much money he was making and how much money he is making now. So there was no frame of reference around there. And this is something I'm starting to see. There was a girl here on YouTube. Uh, she was doing a business. I'm not gonna mention the business. And when it got to the point of her, you know, she was filming the conversations and stuff and she, she'd be a terrible cold caller. And you know, then she says she did it, but she didn't film the process of her getting the customers and closing the deals, which I thought to be very interesting. But one of the things that, you know, people are looking for with ChatGPT, Midjourney, Etsy, uh, these online businesses, is they're looking for freedom. They're looking for freedom. They're looking for the freedom to wake up when they wanna wake up. They're looking for the freedom to do what they wanna do when they wanna do. This is what they're looking for. And this thirst, this desire for the freedom is causing people to, in my opinion, make some very bad decisions. And these decisions are ramifying up in poor personal choices. And, you know, once again, can you build something that provides you that financial freedom? Yes. But the issue, and this is always the issue, this is always the issue, it's going to take time for you to create that variable, that, var that variable, that variable. It's gonna take you time. And with right training, it'll take you about three years to get there, which in the span of lifetime, because people are living to be 87 to 90 something, right? So three years is just this chump change in the span of a lifetime. But the thing is, people don't want to take that because one of the things that I noticed is that everyone is so afraid of starting a business, more so because of the work that will go be involved in starting the business versus the failure rate of the business. Because you start a business, you're gonna be working. And the way that I recommend is you start a business, you, you keeping your job, you're not letting your job go. And you're gonna start your business in your free time, which means that you're gonna be working Monday through Friday at your job, and then you're gonna come home, and then you're gonna work from six to nine on your business, and you're gonna work weekends on your business. So your work level is just going to dramatically increase. And this is the thing that just messes with people, because people, I saw a girl, and it was a YouTube commercial, and she was talking about she was doing uh, Zumba, Pilates, or something. And she said, I was doing 20 classes per week. And she said, it just burnt me to a crisp. And I'm like, wait a minute, 20 hours per 20 classes per week? And I think these classes were an hour. 
So my mind was like, you're working 20 hours a week to do these classes, let's say 23, to add in travel time to get to it. And that's burning you to a crisp. You know, th this whole notion of trying to escape work and trying to escape setting up something that will provide you a lavish lifestyle is just the things that people are running from. Um, people are really, really running from. But once again, I will tell you, once you get a business set up, once you get a business established, this is one of the things that will enable you to create a life of intent and design where you, you know, like I remember during, the, I think we were having a snowstorm. I think it was 2014 and people were freaking out because for a week, Atlanta was on lockdown. You couldn't go anywhere for a week. It was really bad. And I was used to staying at home. I was used to doing my own thing. So it was no big deal for me. And one of the things that I, I, I really see is that people are creatures of habit and creatures of comfort. And this is one of the things that's just going to create a really wild, wild situation for people who are trying to establish themselves. And once again, there are strategies, there are techniques, there's things you can do that can create a higher level of financial comfort. And with this higher level of financial comfort comes freedom. This is, thing, this is something you can do. This is something you can set up. However, the time, the time is, that's the thing that is um, really, really interesting because, you know, before I knew all this stuff, I did not know that I could literally create a business where like every now and then I'll just like, I don't wanna work today. And I'll, I'll just stay in bed to 12 and order some fancy food and just chill out. I can do that whenever I want to. And you know, whenever I feel a little tired, I was like, eh, I don't feel like working today. I'll do that. And I have the power to do that. I have the choices to do that because I've set it up like that because I've built this business. But until you build that business, it ain't happening, man. It's just not happening. So hopefully you got something from this. Hopefully you understand what's going on and hopefully you have a better concept of the things that are going on in the world today that you can go ahead and start building and start building and start building. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video. You saw the commercial at the beginning. Hopefully you are taking action with that action.